back to our podcast, Granny Crabtree's Time Transporter. Last time, Calissa, Freya and Devon visited their ill nan and discovered Granny Crabtree's Time Transporter. Children may still be at Appledown Farm, but it's now World War II. We start our episode back in the courtyard with a group of Land Army girls. Maeve, what are you doing? I'm so hungry, Marge. You're eating the raw tater. Leave her be. You better not let Miss Crabtree see you eating her potatoes. They're not hers. They belong to the nation. I listen to her. They belong to the nation. Everyone's hungry, mate. I'm hungry. Me tummy's making all sorts of noises. Have a potato, Vi. It's covered in dirt. A bit of dirt didn't hurt anyone. Rub it off on your britches. Ugh, that's horrid. How can you eat it? You get used to it. Got half a sausage for my supper tonight. Who's had the other half? I did, last night. I'd love a proper roast dinner, a huge piece of beef, proper cooked potatoes roasted, carrots, Yorkshire pudding and gravy. And you will do. By Christmas the war will be over and we can eat proper food again. The first thing I'm going to buy is a bunch of bananas. And I'm going to buy a big bag of sweets for my nieces and nephews. You've got an art of gold, Vi. Devon, Calissa and Freya walk up to the Land Army girls. They're not quite sure what is going on. Sweets are bad for you. I'd rather have a red, juicy apple. Poor love, I think he's got concussion. Did you get bombed out? He must have. Look what he's wearing. It might have been the only thing they could give him to wear. Who are you? I'm Marge. I'm Gladys. And this here is Vi, Ivy and May. Here, Mrs, your evacuees have turned up early. A dark-haired woman and her teenage daughter walk out of the cottage. Look, I recognise those two people coming out of the cottage. They're in Nan's photo on her bedroom wall. What year is this? What year is this? It's 1939. He definitely has got concussion. I want my mummy. <laughs> Poor love, she must be terrified. Hello, welcome to Appledown Farm. I'm Miss Crabtree and this is my daughter Primrose. Hello. Why don't you come into the house and we'll show you to your room? You're Granny Crabtree. Pardon? He's got concussion, poor dear. The children follow Mrs Crabtree and her daughter into the cottage and upstairs towards the bedrooms. You girls are in here. Sorry, I didn't ask your names. Calissa Mallon. Freya Mallon. Are you twins? Yes. yes. I'm Devon. I'm not a twin. I'm not a girl. Perhaps you might like to have the small room at the end of the corridor. But that's the bathroom. We don't have a bathroom. Baths are taken in front of the fire in the kitchen every Sunday night. Where's the toilet? Outside. Side in the privy shed. During the night you can use a gazanda. What's a gazanda? Goes under the bed. It's a kind of china potty. So if I want to wee in the night, I have to use the potty? Yes. We'll leave you to supper then. Mrs Crabtree and Primrose go downstairs, leaving our homesick time travellers alone. I'm scared. I want to go back to our time now, Devon. Right, everyone. Hold on to the time transporter. I'll turn the dials forward. Take us home! We're still here. Try again. Let's all say it. Take, Take us, us home. home! Again. Take us home! It's not working. Does that mean we're stuck here? Forever? What will happen next time to our three time travellers? 
Tune in next time to find out.